Well, that appears to be live. So, hello, everybody. It's me, Space Dad. Um, well, I think that was just a notification. Yes, good, a notification on my phone to tell me that I'm live and doing my job. Thank you very much. Um, this is Outer Wilds. I'm Johnny Chiodini. I'm flying solo in space this week because uh, Aoife is on holiday. Uh, she's on honeymoon specifically because she got married over the weekend. And uh, Ian, well, basically the trains were screwed up so he didn't make it down to the office today. So I thought, why not check out Outer Worlds? Because it's basically... I'm going to delete all the progress because I love you. Um, it's basically just launched and just opening a tinny, says the Castaway DC. Very nice. Um, basically, it's just launched on uh, Xbox and Windows, and it's kind of like a space exploration game with some twists you may not expect. So we're going to explore all those together. Um, let me know how the audio is. Um, I think it should be fine. Um, you'll notice if you're wearing headphones that I'm coming out of both, both ear holes this time. It's not because I fixed whatever it is that's wrong with the computer, it's because I'm wearing two microphones. <laughs> so uh, yeah, anyway, let's whoa, 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 wake up. So, it's all very, very pretty. And uh, you can start off by just roasting a wee marshmallow. Oh, that's that's gone horribly, horribly wrong. Let's extinguish that. Oh, we can eat it anyway. Fine, cool. Uh, funnily enough, uh, I've, I've recently spent recently spent about half an hour discussing the best way to roast marshmallows because at Eva's wedding the night before. Damn it. Uh, om nom nom nom. There was a small station where uh, everyone was making, like you know, like I'd, I'd never, I'd never had a small before. But you roast a giant marshmallow, like peel it off the stick between two crackers and add chocolate, so it's all melty and delicious. Eva is incredibly good at making them, and people were delighted. But it meant that there was a lot of talk of like, how close to the flames do you go? Uh, I'm obviously awful at it, um, and you know, like. Uh, do you want to go high and dry or close to the flame and keep rotating, etc., etc.? Anyway, that's enough about marshmallows. Um, I should do a name trance in a second. Um, let's see. Uh, everyone is saying congrats to Aoife. Apparently the audio is fine, which is good news. Um, Sod it. Should we do a little name trance now? Why not? Uh, hello to everyone watching, especially... Jack Escape the Box Run, Dragon Mother, Adolph Lavidius, Ruse Garden Guide, Ryan A. Franks, Jesse James at Fruit Bat, Fat Batman 12, Ms. Fragorox, Liam, Jacob M. Aetherus, Stephen Rounce, Raina Watt, Jill Bulls, Simon Baker 30, Angel Beat, Benjamin Bloomer, Ian Stanbridge for 14, Castaway DC, Alex Fuller, Sue Ooper Pants, Ryan Gilbert, Killer Vandal, Lindsay Langdon, Mega Monkey, Hope Brundage, and Linorn, and anyone else I have missed. Oh, we've just had um, a super chat from the one who snacks. It says, hey, Johnny, I'm glad you're in space. Oh, because you were out of this world. Thank you for the amazing Soulsborne playthroughs and endless hours of fun. You are very, very welcome. Uh, anyway, let's talk to Slate. So we are, as you can tell, a pilot. And this dude has four eyes, which is slightly disconcerting, but whatever. We're about to go on our first solo voyage. All systems go. So we need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before we can lift off. So, this is the space launch tower. I think there's a spaceship up there. But I've already played like the first half hour of this just to get myself uh, acquainted. We need to go see Hornfells. Anyway. Oh, I'm sorry, can't stop the bees that I missed you off the naming trance. Uh, Connor Boom Shakalaka says, from the photos, Aoife's wedding looked like some sort of fabulous fun fairy tale. It was, and I was allowed to bring my dog, which was the best bit, to be honest. I mean, apart from watching two good friends get married. But uh, it was great. Watson ran around. She, she got overexcited. She chewed a log. It was pretty great. Anyway. Go into space. I want to practice with a pro before I leave. 
Try and land on one of the geyser pools, or geyser pools, show me what you've got. So, it looks like we can fly a model ship to practice. We've got horizontal thrust, up thrust, down thrust. Let's try and land a spaceship. <laughs> that. Okay. Looks like my, oh Christ, okay. My career as a <laughs> space captain may not be off to the most auspicious of starts. Come on, you fu Come on. Yeah, take that. Cool. <sighs> this, that vehicle seems thrust worthy, says Angel Beat. Very nice. Uh, one man and his dog, Johnny Wick. Is that a reference to my hair and beard? I don't know. Anyway, right, we're going to land this thing. There we go. Boom, perfect. First time. I'm a great space pilot. Not feeling trepidatious about this journey whatsoever. Anyway, it's so this game kind of dumps you in it and just tells you, like, hey, you're a pilot, and you don't really know... Ooh, there's poor free. I'm a hatchling. Yeah. We're Harthians, apparently. It doesn't really tell you much about who you are or what you're doing apart from going to space. So, um, yeah, very interesting. We've got another super chat from Hebrew Hammer 86 It says, I want to say thanks for that video you did on Observation. It inspired me to play a game I might normally have bought, and I loved it. Good. I really like that game. I think it's excellent fun. Hello, who are you? Marl. Thinking about it. The platform those ships launched from is getting old. Built a new, less flammable one. Okay, nice try. We all know you have it out for that tree. Yeah, Marl. <laughs> Take that. Oh, uh, okay. So, four eyed space aliens with massive Yoda ears and grudges against trees. So far, so good. Hello. Nice. Good nice to see you. Just saying hi before I leave. Bye. Right, let's book it to the observatory. Mm -mm. Can't stop the bee says, I hope Watson uh, dressed up for the occasion of Eva's wedding. She did. I put a um, bow tie on her. She's got a little tweed one that sort of just threads onto her collar. Are you excited for E3? Uh, yes, I am excited for E3. I'm a little bit stressed for E3. It kind of feels like it's come around very, very quickly. And I haven't... My schedule's been filling up. I've got loads of appointments, but I need to give it another look over to work out exactly what I'm doing from day to day and minute to minute. So I kind of... I think the minute I'm on the plane, I'm going to be really excited. As it is, all I'm thinking is like, oh, I need to do laundry and... Uh, do I have enough books, etc., etc.? Just really boring, tedious considerations. But it should be a good one. Like, um, I'm hoping we'll get to see like a really good, like, big chunk of cyberpunk. And what else am I looking forward to? Um, announcements, awkward moments at the conferences. I think it's basically. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Hello, Hal. I wonder if that's an omen. That I hope it's not. Oh, Jens Jensen. I really said, I said that, right, um, has done a super chat and says, gold from Denmark. Thank you. Hello, Johnny. Love to all you guys. Give me a smile on my face. You're a good person. Oh, it's very nice. Um, and Brock Sisson has asked what I spread on my toast today. I didn't have any toast today. Um, oh, right. So this is like one important bit of story thing. The Nomai appear to be like an ancient civilization and they've scattered writings across the universe and it looks like a new statue um, we've finally got a translator so I can go off into the the wilderness and work out what it is they were saying which is very exciting so like even though it's my first voyage um, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago and looked like really photogenic goats. Like, they've got killer cheekbones. But um, despite the fact this is my first voyage and I'm just a hatchling, uh, apparently I'm being trusted to be, like, the first one uh, uh, 
uh, to, to go out with this new tech. So, you know, no pressure. Right. Anyway, this is the observatory. I feel like I should be spending more time sort of looking around the exhibits and stuff. However, I just want to sort of get up into space and see what's out there. Ooh! Okay. Blimey. So we're on Timber Hearth, which is, I guess, why we're Hearthians. And then there's Brittle Hollow, the Hourglass Twins, the Interloper, Giant's Deep, which is where that statue came from, I think. And Dark Bramble. Anyway. Hello, Hornfells. The, it's interesting. The art style of this is really cutesy, but the characters, I don't know if everyone else feels this way, are nightmarish. I'm not, it's not my, my cup of tea, to be honest. But, um, oh, that's right, Codex vs. The World says I, help, I think you helped build the new tech, which is why I'm allowed to use it. That is true, and fair enough. Um, mm -mm -mm. Sorry, it's, it's, yeah, I will keep trying to... Um, Oh, uh, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, teach me about the Nomai. I would love to know more about them. I'll keep trying to check in with the chat, but it is, um, it's been a while since I've streamed by myself, so um, kind of not used to playing fluidly and checking on that at the same time. Uh, Alex Samaras, though, makes a good point. I'm, <laughs> I'm ready to die in space. Um, Alex says, that's quite a fast orbit. A year there must take less than an hour. That is true. Uh, da, da, da. Da, 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 da. They remind me a bit of Ratchet and Clank characters, says Connor. The characters give me mild <laughs> tryptophobia. Um, somebody's asking if anyone we know caught the bouquet at Aoife's wedding. I don't think I was around for the bouquet toss. I don't know what I was doing, or if there was one. But, uh, yeah. No idea on that one, sorry. Hello, what's that? Apart from weird texture popping. A strange rock moving around this grotto. This right to conscious. Ooh. Good. Uh, it's like the thing from Doctor Who, run away! <laughs> Whoa. Not into that. That's perfectly terrifying. That is absolutely horrible. I take everything back about this game being in any way cute. It's all of it's a nightmare. Anyway. Oh, good. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, that was a pretty accurate replay of everything I just did, but fine. Oh no, Greg Higgins, Space Dad string keeping me company on my birthday as I nursed my very injured ankle as I, uh, I celebrated, uh, I, uh, I injured celebrated my birthday a little too hard. Oh, Greg, I hope you feel better soon. Um, that sounds rubbish. Ankle injuries are not fun. I've rolled my ankle a bit. That she looked at me and opened its eyes. You mean like a hallucination? Are you okay to launch? Oh, it's nice that that person didn't just disbelieve me. Giant's Deep. Okay. All right, maybe we should go to Giant's Deep as our first port of call. Let's have a look. Ooh. Ah, oh, Chris Moon has done a super chat and says, Hey, I'd like to say keep up the great work. Thank you very much. These are some of the most positive super chats I've ever seen. Ian Stanbridge says, Johnny, I don't think you should have just looked into that psychic goat's eyes. I agree, frankly, but um, I didn't seem to have much of a choice. So... Yep. Yep. 
Okay, launch codes it is. We did say we'd say bye to Slate. All right, see you later. See you, Slater. I'm sorry. Sam Peters uh, has done a super chat and says, will you be joining Oxbox for Sea of Thieves? Um, no, it's not been, not been mentioned to me. Um, I mean, I'm always down to play Sea of Thieves, but uh, I think it's just them handling it. I very nearly streamed Sea of Thieves today, actually. I was like, well, I am solo streaming, and I do really like Sea of Thieves, but I thought, probably better if I do something that's more recently launched, etc., etc. Oxbox needs a sea dad. They're all juvenile at sea. <laughs> oh, right. M hmm. Right. Let's um, let's take off, shall we? This went so well in the model. Actually, this isn't too bad. There's the sun. Is that the giant? That's Giant's Deep, okay. So I know that we can fire out a scout if we want to. Like, pew! And then take some snapshots. It's kind of like a probe that gets sent out. Take a rear view snapshot. Front snapshot. It ap I appear to have fired it into the sun. That's pro- oh dear. Emergency scout recall. Oh, that's good. I didn't automatically cook my own scout. So that's that's fine. Let's put that away for now, shall we? And there's autopilot, but for the time being, let's just head towards Giant's Deep. If you've ever played Elite Dangerous, you'll be very used to this. Just a cockpit and just slowly advancing on celestial bodies, although it is a lot faster. Come, come back. No! I missed it. Right. I'm going to stick the autopilot on and see if it'll do it for me. Well, no, it seems to have done naff all there while I was checking the chat. Right. Am I the only one who who thinks Giant's Deep is an innuendo. It's a bit of a reach, to be honest with you, Castaway DC. But I appreciate you trying. Codex versus the World says, I was playing this game earlier, and my autopilot flew me right into the sun. So that was fun. Yeah. Oh. Whoa, what, 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 what? Fuck. Get back here. Come here! Asshole. Asshole. Okay. We're slowly gaining on it. Do a flip, says Kevin Acosta. I think I can roll. I can roll. So I can I can do a barrel roll, as the characters are fond of saying, but first I'm gonna try and land on Giants Deep. Come on. Slowly getting there. Cast, cast with, it's hard to read the chat and land on a planet at the same time. I'll come back to that. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, don't do it again. Oh, the fuck. 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 But, but how did I lose my lock on then? This bullshit. I just want to land on a big planet. That crap and my scouts. I didn't realise my scout was 45 kilometres away. Right. <laughs> On today's episode of Slingshot Dad, Johnny nearly gets to a planet. You know what that sounds about right? Sexy teens, get off my lawn. Try spinning, that's a good trick. Alex Samaras, you be, should be ashamed of yourself. Try this. Yeah, go on, this looks good. This looks good. Get me on you, planet. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh, 
It's some form of, oh wow, just tornadoes everywhere. Cool. Uh, um, sure. Why not? Ooh. Fuck. Fuck. This, this is nightmarish. Let's see if there's somewhere better to land. Ooh, what was that? Ooh. Oh, I'm not sure about this, I'm really not. That seems to be another spaceship. Weird, but okay. Tell you what, we'll come back to that. Let's try and find somewhere like, yeah, this looks likely, doesn't it? Here we go. We can land on this. There's even a landing pad. Ah! <laughs> Why is it, what, why is that, why is that island being thrown in the air? I'm sorry, this planet sucks. Get me back down there. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. God's sake. Yeah. Giant deep my ass. There we go. No, ah, no, I didn't want to land on that. I want to land on this. Okay, go, 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 go. And now, yeah, perfect. Nailed it. <sighs> Space exploration is not all it's cracked up to be. Anyway, let's suit up, because if there's one thing better than landing on a planet that is just endless typhoons, it's going outside the spaceship on one. Okay, stairs and lights, so far so good. Textbook Johnny. Yeah. Pretty sure this is one of those circles of hell Dante was talking about. It's suddenly gone very interstellar. Gravity is a heartless individual. Yeah, everyone's, yeah, okay, good. Everyone seems to be about on the same page with uh, this game as me thus far. We can jet that booster. Good. Uh, bonk. What's this? Okay, so this is where we get to use our translator. Statue workshop. Ship log updated, great. Oh look, it's a statue, like the one that stole my memories. That's fun. What's this? Is there anything I can do? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, statue workshop. There's the statue. Let's see what's around here. Aha! What are you? I appear to be able to just walk on walls. It's not too shabby. Up. 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 Shit. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Everything's, everything's fine. Everything is absolutely fine. Maybe, maybe we'll go back this way a little. Booster, I barely know her, says Angel B. Very good. Ah! Okay. I mean, we should try and get over there, shouldn't we? That just looks sensible. Our oxygen is only a fifth of the way depleted, so we should be able to get over there. We've got plenty of fuel. Okay, second time's the charm. Casually walk up the thing. Casually walk along here. Maybe it's these, oh is it? Oh, that's clever. It's the light. I should have followed the light. Oh, this is kind of cool. Trees detected. Oxygen tank refilled, great. Well, no, I don't want to launch a scout, do I? Or maybe I do. Mm, no, that's sucked. <laughs> anyway, right, let's press on. Let's see what else we can find. Aha! We're going to test the memory statues tonight. Flocks says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. 
What if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? Oh, this is cool. It's a conversation. I really want to see the test too. And it's a huge risk to take. Well, you shouldn't. Maybe Flux will let us see a laser test. All right. Nothing sinister about those things. Whoop. Anything more for me to find here? Oops, shit. You can only walk on the walls where there are blue crystals, so watch out. Yep, just work that out. <laughs> Seven just asked, so when's the chest burst to seeing? I really hope there isn't one, but, you know, never say never. trees. It's kind of interesting so far. It, like, I like the way it doesn't hold your hand too much. It's all about the spirit of exploration. Um, kind of in that sort of No Man's Sky way. It's hard not to compare the two. Ah! Fuck! Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Abso absolutely not. Piss off. I want to translate the things. Being an interdimensional scholar is hard. Welcome to Giant's Deep, friend. I'm so happy to meet this to piss. Fuck. I'm not in my dwelling. I'm like in my workshop below, brackets inside the island. Maybe that's the deep, the deep in Giant's Deep. We're landing. No thanks to this weather, which is doing its best to murder us. The question is, do we, how do we get there? Does it mean like inside the island is in like, we're on this weird planet thing, maybe we should get on the ship and try and like swim down? Or can I get in there? Let's find out. What's up? Um, Whoops, for once Johnny needs more gravity. Yeah, I agree. For once. Okay. Is this an access route? Reveal your secrets. Okay, maybe not. We'll head back toward the ship. Okay. Where's the ship gone? Ship's that way. Ooh. That wasn't that wise, really, was it? That was. Oh well. Okay, I appear to have been revived by some form of goat magic. And I'm back at the fire, burning another marshmallow. I appear to have all the launch codes. All right, so it's all a bit... 
<laughs> all hail the hypno goat. It's all gone a bit groundhog day, seemingly. Full damage confirmed. Bend your knees next time, you'll be fine. Right. And we're off again. There. Ah, oh, sh no. Oh, we're fine. So that's... Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Okay. I... Well, this time I just... I've, I've messed up the... <laughs> I've got myself stuck in a tree. And I... Sm I don't think that's meant to be happening. Don't you play twee banjo music at me while I'm... I've immediately crashed my starship into a... bunch of trees. I suppose I could get a... Let's see what, let's get a picture of this. Yeah, cool. Uh, okay. Huh? Uh, great. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Everyone's going to be watching. Okay. So, I know that we've got atmosphere here anyway, but let's see what it's like to try and repair the ship. Oh, all the extra repair. Done. See? Fine. Right. Let's try that again. <laughs> Everyone seemed to enjoy that one at least, so. What the hell? Okay. What is this now? Brittle Hollow. Should we go back to the terrifying nightmare water planet? Let's retrieve the scout. Where's the. Okay, let's open up the map. Giant Steep is there. Why wouldn't it actually show me where it is? Ah, oh, there's Giant Steep. Okay, let's try again. We'll unlock your secrets. Oh, that's clever. It's putting me on like an intercept course. It's kind of showing me where I need to go in terms of the adjustments I need to make. That is very handy. Ooh. Get back here. It's a learning curve, Mr. C, you'll be fine. Good. Hello to everyone watching. Um, if you're just joining us, this is Outer Wilds. I'm bad at landing on planets. <laughs> uh, and it's kind of like a chill. No Man's Sky meets Elite Dangerous-esque game that can be a bit finicky and the, the creatures in it so far are terrifying but uh, you know it's so far it's, it's all very chipper and cheerful and um, yeah it's quite interesting. And I am still struggling to read the chat and fly a spaceship at the same time. Right. We're just in our, okay, there we go, that's better. Ooh. Come on, get me on there, get me on there, get me on there, get me on there. Bastard! <laughs> There's something I'm not getting here, isn't there? Ugh. Fly to sun, says Andrew Din. I'm pretty sure that will kill me. If I'm perfectly honest. Multitasking is hard without also having gravity to contend with, says Root Bat. I agree. Okay, here we go. Let's try again. Oh, 
holding A could work. Holding, yeah, holding A could work. Because if I match the velocity... Hmm. Oh, matching the velocity is in. I'm not going to overshoot. Okay, fine. We'll do that when we get a bit closer then. you got to match velocity way earlier. I get it now. So if I try matching the velocity... Oh, look at that! It's like an approach vector thing. Ooh. Still going to fuck this up, aren't I? No, you little bastard. Oh, there we go. Wait! Ah! <laughs> don't I don't like it. Okay. okay. Ooh, that's that's a big ball of energy, isn't it? You know what? We'll push on. Even though we might be able to hear the controllers going a bit bananas. I just want to... Where's this dude's workshop? Presumably not in the giant electrical storm. Right? Maybe we should surface again. Yeah, okay, thanks. Okay. What have we learned? Match velocity. We've learned about matching velocity and how that's very useful. We've learned about fall damage and how that's very horrible. We've learned about this planet and how it's bloody dreadful. Like, just a nasty place to be, really. There we go, but... Got the hang of landing, at least. Sort of. Let's see what's over here. Danger ghost matter detected nearby. What? What ghost matter are they talking about? Ah! Ah! <laughs> that kind of ghost matter. What the fuck? Bye. <laughs> Help. I look away for one second and I get attacked by a ghost? Is that like a first aid kit? Yes. Healing. Fine. Well, sod that. We should probably get back out there, but that was deeply unpleasant. Um, we learned that tornadoes suck. We did learn that, Codex versus the world. Um, I can only imagine how badly Apollo 11 would have gone if Johnny was in the lunar module. I agree, Darth Lavidius. Ghost matter, don't you mean goat matter? It's funny. Okie dokie. Eat the ghost matter. I'll try. All right. Let's try again. Because I'm not afraid of any ghost. No, I, I lie. I kind of am. It's quite scary. No, 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 no! Died. I got eaten by a ghost. In retrospect, going back into the ghost cave was a, a was a, a choice. A bad one. Shall we sack off Giant's Deep for a bit and go to a different planet, maybe? One with fewer ghosts and typhoons. Yep. Hello, mate. I keep getting killed by ghost matter. What? Oh. Use your scout to detect it, you dumb idiot. I didn't know that. That guy was very chill about the fact I told him I kept dying. Question is, let me know while I get the ship off the ground. Do we go back and try and light up the ghost matter, or do we go somewhere entirely new? Let's, let me know. Ghost matter, no. Less tornadoes. Oh, I missed the super chat. Oh, Connor, boom shakalaga. Uh, loving the stream and all the vids recently. Great variety in games, matched with your exemplary wit and banter. So thanks for all the work. On a more egocentric note, it's my birthday tomorrow. Yeah, happy birthday. Um, what are you doing for your birthday, Connor? I would like to know. Light it up. Says Castaway DC. Angel Beat says let's explore. So that's one for going back to over there thing, and one for, oh, this is close. 
Oh, not headlights. What are you? Yeah. Oh, the Apple Rock. Ah, oh, fuck. Perfect. Oh, good. My landing gear's damaged. Okay, well. I guess we'll have to fix that before we, uh... Okay. Oh, tits. Oh! There was an important step I missed there. And it was putting on a spacesuit. <laughs> so yeah, I blew myself out into the voice. Yeah, cool. Not even going to talk to this guy. Bye! Oh, whoops. Right. You know what? Let's pop that on now. Let's pop it on now. Fine. That'll help. <laughs> the chat seems to enjoy that one at least. Where's the Apple Rock gone? Where are you, you coward? Is the Apple Rock... Ah, the Apple Rock's like our moon. Okay. Ah! Not again. Woo! Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're going to match the speed of the Apple Rock. And see what's on it. There's a quick way to repair the ship. Oh, that is a quick way to repair the ship, I see. Okay. Come here, Apple Rock. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Not again. Ah, shite. Landing mode, eh? Nailed it. You know what? That'll do. And I've got my suit on. So I shan't die. We are a ways from anything. But, uh, oh god, gravity's low as well. If you believe, they put see dad on the moon. <laughs> dad on the moon. <laughs> Uh, if you believe there's more deaths up his sleeve. Do, 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 do. Oh. Hello. It's all going a little bit Breath of the Wild, isn't it? What are you? Oh. Oh. Uh What? Stick it, let's put it in the blue one. See what that does. I don't understand. Good. Is this a massive puzzle? It looks like... Oh, oh, what's down here? Did we already come this way? No, we didn't. <gasps> Writing! Let's translate this. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator. You can hear and follow the signals from the sun giants deep in Brittle Hollow. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. Let's build a more sophisticated device. Oh, we're looking, they were looking for the eye of the universe. Okay. Great. So, at least we know we won't 
Hello. Good. Isn't that one of the witch's symbols? Is that the one for like Ard or something? Or is it Quen? Why are you not Quen? Ah, where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? Southern Glacier and Brittle Hollow. Okay, looks like it's going to be in Brittle Hollow. Brittle Hollow South Pole. Quantum Moon Locator. Okay, well, let's go to Brittle Hollow. It's quite nice having these little crumbs of, of story metered out to you. It's kind of what I felt like um, No Man's Sky was sometimes missing. Speaking of missing, where's the ship? Okay. Darth Lavidius says, Pro tip, never go looking for something called the Eye of the Universe. That seems wise to me, to be perfectly honest. Whoop. Right. Okay. So believe where's the place we need to go so I'm on the Atle Rock it's Timber Hearth Brittle Hollow that was it on Brittle Hollow South Pole okay get in the get in the bloody cockpit where's Brittle Hollow let's tell it to point us Hello. Now we're getting somewhere. Come here, Brittle Hollow. Piss off whatever that is. Ah! God, space travel is scary. FYI, you missed a message from one of your fellow astronauts in that last room. Damn it. Oh well. Oh crap. That's the sun. That's the sun. That's the sun! Yeah, everything's fine. Let's match your velocity. Go on an intercept course? Yeah, okay. This is one of the most chilled games I think I've ever streamed on Eurogamer. I'll be honest with you, just before the stream I was thinking to myself, um, I wasn't actually that into it, but it's growing on me. So I've had a little go before we started the stream and I was like, eh. Yeah. But yeah. I think, um, Matched. Hopefully you've been enjoying my ineptitude as a pilot. Why haven't I rematched the velocity? Shit. Everything's fine. Ah, ship hull breach detected. Good. Please don't tell me that's half of my ship. Ah. It is. Okay. So the good news is we got our suit on, so we didn't die immediately. The bad news is that all looks terrible, so let's cheese it and head for the South Pole. Um, oh, shit. So, I mean, right, so we are going to die here, that's a certainty. But hopefully, we can find out some stuff before that happens. Oh, crap. That looks promising. Well worth smashing up my ship to go and see. Oop. Oh, 
Hold that. Okay. What are we get in it? Is it this? It is very pretty, this. You have to admit. Seem to be that way. What was that noise? Was that my ship distantly exploding? Oh, this over here. Hull breach means ship split in half. Good to know. This is true. Um. Oh, what? The, what are you? And would you like to be my new ship? Because I'm not going to lie. My last one is in pretty bad shape. Get me in here. Ah! Uh! The fuck? Oh, aha. That looks entrancey. Hopefully there'll be oxygen down here so we can take our time exploring. Ah. All right, show off. I mean, I put my ship down safely. Ah, okay, yeah, fair enough. Was this message left from me in the past or the future? Great. No, this is ruins on the equator. Try and find the way down. Okay. Crap. Hey, there is a. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a super chat from Jack Escape the Box Run. Johnny, are you a military grade pilot? Your landing skills are exceptional. Don't know anybody who can land two ships when flying only one. I'm crying. Ha ha. I deserve that, to be honest. I absolutely deserve that. Let's see. Whoop. Are these the ruins? It's so hard to see. We're running steadily out of fuel and oxygen. That looks sort of promising. Oh, don't tell me I accidentally landed exactly where I needed to be. Oh crap! Oh sh! Yeah, but okay, not dead. Oxygen tank refilled. That's good news. Vitals are terrible because I'm stupid. Oh, ghost matter. Uh. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Piss off. Ah, fuck. Hmm. Not into you, ghost matter. Like a campfire. Roast a marshmallow. Did that heal me? No. I just roasted a marshmallow. Fine. What's everyone saying? Yep. I mean, so there's ghost stuff there. And it doesn't look like much else is happening here. But the last time we tried to encounter a ghost, we just got murdered. So I'm wondering if I actually ought to go over there or not. Well, which one was it again? Ah, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, ghosts, still very dangerous. Weird. Huh. All right, back through the spooky goat.
Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We stayed alive a bit longer this time, at least. And here we are again. This guy's so unsupportive. Right, up we go. The real ghost matter was the marshmallows we roasted along the way. I couldn't agree more. I could not agree more. Right, where are we going to this time? Right. Suit. I'm going to stick that straight on. So, it's the ruins on the equator of Brettle Hollow. Maybe we just went at the right bit. Let's try Brettle Hollow again. Looks like some form of equatorial ruin. Right? That's gotta be it. Oh, yes! No! Landing camera damaged. I mean, that's not nearly as bad as the entire ship breaking in half. Oh, I thought this was a landing pad. You know what? It is. Oh, no, that's a tree. Oh, shit. Ugh. Perfect! Hatch. Repair the landing camera. Nailed it. Signal nearby. I wonder if it's this. Escape pod. What, what do I do with it? Okay, I've found a very upset speaker of some description. Ah. Oh, they landed in the escape pod, I understand. Oh, there's a volcanic moon. That's good news. Okay. Let's try and get over here. Shit. All right. Whoop. Yep. Let me. There we go. All right. What now? You look promising. Oh. No. Okay. What are you now? Come on. That's weird. How was I able just to move that before? Oh, does it correspond to my move? Oh, whoa! Cool. I was not expecting that. This game's all right. It's really... Ooh. Tits. It's growing on me. Even as it's... Murdering me repeatedly. Right. It's caution. A black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Tremendous. Uh, ooh, ah. That would be the uh, volcanic moon everyone was talking about. Uh. Oh shit. 
Oh, crap. Oh, that was close. And painful. Fuck. No, 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 no. Come on. Absolute bastard. Death number. But what? Uh. Where am I? Oh. Well, that's instructive. And my ship is only 23 kilometers away. 24 kilometers away. What are you? What are you? Ah. I can match your velocity? Even though, all right, I'm not in a ship. This is weird. Bonk. I wonder if I can actually land on this thing. Come on. Yeah, come on, come on. Be cool, be cool, just be cool. Come on. <gasps> I can walk on you, can I? Arrgh! Noob, what are you? 50% fuel remaining, tremendous. I wonder if I can get up. Bonk, nope. It's fascinating, I hate it. Oh, yeah, 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 get me in there, get me in there. You son of a, okay. And more of this. Beep boop. Ah. Well, I'm not going to suffocate. I'll just starve to death. Donk. Oops. Oh. Is that how I can kill the ghost's energy? Is that what they meant? Ah, writing. Welcome to the White Hole Station. Did you fall through the black hole by accident? Or are you on? Ah, you can use the warp tower to get back to Brittle Hollow. Okay. Cool. That's very useful. I would love an ember twin projection stone. I need to get in this and look up, is it? Mm -hmm. This is like me trying to fly in No Man's Sky, says that fruit bat. Gavin UK86 apparently just suffocated and died, so I was quite lucky to make it to the white hole station. It's it. It doesn't feel like my ship's getting any closer. Is this what they meant by getting on this bit? And looking up? Johnny, that's just an elevator. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh yeah, look at that. Is it this? <laughs> yes it is, look. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh uh, dear. I really hope this is the right one, otherwise I'm going to look really stupid about now. Jeff Rizos, have you tried Kerbal Space Program before? Probably not great for streaming, but might be up your alley. Ethan and I tried 
try to record a Let's Play of it once, and we did not get on with it. But we've had a super chat um, from Jet Set Radio saying, back at work after our honeymoon. This is cheering me up. Thanks, Space Dad. Um, why is everyone filling the... Everyone's, fi everyone's filling the chat with my own face palms. Hey, do I need to power it up first? People say I need to power it up first. How do I... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> this game is not my friend. Uh, Jet Set Radio got married recently. Congratulations, Jet Set Radio. Um, I hope you had a lovely time. Tell the chat about the outfits because they were cool. Um, no spoilers, but I think you need to activate something. I'm just going to fire the scout at things. Bonk. Is it this? Somebody tell me, because I'm just making an idiot out of myself at this point. And this is the thing, when games are just like, figure it out for yourself, that's all good and well. But is there more up? I can't go more up. Um, that's all great and everything, but... Uh, oops, ow. I shouldn't do that, that'll space me again. Um, that's all good and well, but when you're streaming it, then you look stupid. That's when it becomes a bit of an issue. Cough, downstairs, cough. Go downstairs. All right, I'll go downstairs. Oh, got my stone back. Oh yeah, look at that. Is it this? No. Aha! I see you. You go in here? Uh. Am I supposed to align this thing myself? Or is it doing it of its own volition? Uh. Uh. Oh, I see. So keep going, keep going, keep going. And then I guess once it's aligned. Uh, uh, I was trying to move the bloody. But now we're just spinning endlessly. Just put the ball in the thing, then go up. Okay, I'll just put the ball in the thing and then go up. Tremendous. Oh, and then you wait. That's where the patience comes in. I see. It is rotating now. Even in space, there is sausage navigation, says Lindsay Langdon. Fair. Oh, there we go. Well, that was easy. Why didn't you say so? I mean, importantly, we're back. and We've got this slab now. So that's good. God, it is hard streaming games without you and any for to bounce off sometimes. Especially when you're not really getting on with the game and you feel like an idiot. I should have just gone fishing in Sea of Thieves. Oh, for fuck. Neat. Right, where's the ship? Should we go have a look at the ship to see how the ship's getting on? Whoop. Bonk. Try not to get myself killed before I make it back. Mm -mm -mm.
Ah! Oh, not again. I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Your fuel level's critical. Ugh. Frequency distress beacon. How do I take my helmet off and just end it? How close is the sun? Can I fly into the sun? 21 kilometers. <sighs> ah, using oxygen as propellant. That's a smart idea. Ay, ay, ay. Sixty seconds of oxygen remaining. Now, if I can help it, great. We choke to death. <sighs> Now we get a humiliating replay of the time when I fell into the black hole twice. The time when I was, that, yeah, we all remember that, when I was just standing in the lift, being an idiot. That was just the worst noise I've ever heard as well. Just dreadful. Let's roast a marshmallow, shall we? I can't even do this right. Oh, actually, is there any colours to that at all? Not really. Oh, fuck. I'm just, I just need a minute to roast some marshmallows. Oof. You know what? Oh, Lindsay Langdon's done a super chat and says, here's some monies to make you feel better, Space Dad. Thank you. I'm a terrible Space Dad. Oof. Right. Space again. It's my fault for saying that I was, this game was growing on me, to be perfectly honest, isn't it? Right, here we go. This is kind of making me hanker for some um, Elite Dangerous again, if I'm perfectly honest. I used to love playing Elite Dangerous. With an explorer, so I'd just fly off into bits on the map and uh, scan them and then sell the data. It was great fun. Um, there are a couple of things that I was the first person excuse me, to discover. They weren't super exciting, but it, you know, it was fun anyway. Let's go to Dark Bramble. I saw them saying something about Dark Bramble at some point. Let's try and catch them up. Time to find out if the sun is as hot as everyone thinks it is, says Ian Stanbridge. Right, we'll see what's on Dark Bramble, and then maybe, sort of, because we've only got 15 minutes left on the stream, we can celebrate the end of our time together by all being hurtled into the sun. Oh shit, gonna overshoot this, aren't we? Come on, uh, see you later, Dark Bramble. I definitely tried to reduce my speed too late there. Let's try this again. Going to the centre of Dark Bramble, please, Johnny. You've got it, Gavin. Why do all these names sound like locations from an Enid Blyton book? That is actually a very good question. Come on. Let's 
just uh, slow down again. Have I ever done it? Let's see. I have a bad feeling about this, says Spideog? 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 Of Highgate. Me too, to be perfectly honest with you. Right, but... We appear to have made it to Dark Bramble. We've matched the velocity. Oh, this looks not good. What is this, ghosts? More ghosts? Some form of fog ghost? What the fuck? Ooh. Yeah, that looks, that looks unsafe. Let's go in there. That was unfair. That was mean. <laughs> All for the sake of a gif. Oh, I'm gonna throw us into the sun so hard. Uh, the Castaway DC's done a super chat that says, We love Space Dad, please don't be sad. You make us glad, and that is rad. We love Space Dad. Thanks for the stream, you are great. No, thank you for the super chat. God damn it. God damn it, that was horrible. That was really nasty. I thought the one in the observatory was bad, but that was just a teeny tiny one. Fuck. <sighs> Honestly. I'm gonna throw us into the sun for that. Okie dokie. Would have been safer to stick with the sun. Ian, you are correct. Where have you gone, the sun? There you are. Not oh, yeah. Yeah, the sun. Yes. Oh shit. <laughs> that was a close one. Dun, 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 dun. Please don't tell me I'm about to miss this. Ah, there we go. Whip! That was much more satisfying. Good lord. It's like that bit in Finding Nemo, except we're Johnny's conscience. <laughs> Put the spacesuit on before flying into the sun because that will make a difference there. Yeah, fair enough. My dialogue options changed. Again, he's spectacularly not bothered by... Oh, I can burn myself to death. And again, he doesn't really care. Slate's the worst. Slate is the worst. Let's have a look at this, uh, this flashback through the goat statue. Yep, there's one of the briefer ones. There is a platform rotating on the sun, according to Tellboy007. Um, I'm not sure I'll be able to land on it, if I'm perfectly honest. Because I've not been able to land on most things. Right. Where are we going now? Where have we not been? Absolutely screwed Dark Bramble. Have we not been to Brittle? Have we been to Brittle Hollow? We've definitely not been on the Interloper. Let's see if we can make it there before the end of the stream. How about that? Sort of going to need to slingshot around the... Oh, the Interloper's going that way, is it? I mean, it looks awfully like we're about to fly into the sun, doesn't it? Let's just try and... There we go, that's a bit better. Okay. I 
Oh yeah, Brittle Hollow had the black hole. Of course it bloody did. Right. Let's catch up with the interloper. See how that goes for us. there. Come on, the interloper. Oh, this is going to hurt, isn't it? Oh, shit. Bastard! Get back here. I was trying to match its speed and everything. Its velocity, rather. Oofed. Oh, good. We've done it again. I hate you. Always, like, when there's any degree of, like, accuracy in terms of velocity and space travel and physics in a game like this, it takes some getting used to. I remember when I bonk, excellent, let's just repair the ship. When I first played um, Elite Dangerous, good God, I was awful at it. And then I slowly learned, and I guess it's the same with this. Oh, cool. I'll see you later then, ship. Come here, let me fix you. Come here. Come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's so close. Might just get back on board and fly into the sun again, to be perfectly honest. I might start wrapping up the stream here. I know it is a few minutes early, but um, I can't even get back on board my ship having fixed the cockpit, because I haven't fixed the cockpit yet. So um, yeah, I would like to, fuck this. I would like to thank everyone who, uh, let's just burn down the fuel and then build our oxygen reserves up, eh? Uh, thanks to everyone who joined me, uh, especially to those who did Super Chats. A uh, bit of a weird stream in that it was me by myself slowly discovering that I sort of do and don't like a video game. Um, and, yeah. We had some entertaining deaths, at least. Of that, we can be sure. We got eaten by a giant fish. We burned to death on the campfire, not even having left the planet yet. Uh, let's see. Um, we suffocated in space. We got burned up by the sun. I fell down a thing. What else? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll wait until I run out of fuel and or oxygen, and then we'll call it a day, because we've left, the, the ship's just, ship's about eight kilometers away now, so uh, yeah. Hmm. Come on, how can we use up the most fuel? There we go. Come on. Uh, but yeah, there'll be plenty more coming up from Eurogamer uh, uh, this week, not least because I'm off to E3 on Friday. Um, so there'll be press conferences over the weekend, and then next week there'll be all sorts of stuff from the games I play on the show floor. Uh, what else do we have coming up this week? I don't know. Uh, fuel level critical, oh no. Looks like I'm going to have to start... Oh yeah, I spaced myself with no suit, that was a good one. Um, I just aren't using my oxygen as fuel, oh no. What a shame. Lots of ghostly ones. Yeah, there were lots of memorable deaths. Well done me. But yeah, um, keep an eye on the channel because there will be stuff com uh, There'll be stuff coming up uh, all week and then lots more stuff when E3 all kicks off. So uh, yeah, thank you again for joining me. Uh, let me know what you fancy, uh, not fancy, let me know what you're looking forward to at E3. Good Lord, I can't talk. Um, but, oh no, look at that. We've run out of oxygen. In space. Bye! <laughs>
Bye.